So now very quickly we'll have a quick look at phylogeny, the evolutionary relationships between organisms. Phylogenetics is the study of the such evolutionary relationships and here you can see that this is what we call a phylogenetic tree. One way to understand this uh, is to think about the difference between a mind map and a phylogenetic tree. So for example if I say okay now I need to classify some mammals. So I can have different mammals here, humans, cats, dogs, dolphins, whales, blah blah, all these things. They're all mammals but they all are very, very different to one another. And if you think about trying to put these organisms into the Linnean classification, they might not all necessarily fit into their own uh, categories. So that's why we discovered that we can actually, a better way of doing so is to put them into a phylogenetic tree. What's good about having a phylogenetic tree is the fact that they can show the evolutionary relationships between them. So for example, here you can see that uh, monkeys and humans are kind of uh, quite close together on the tip, so saying that they are closely related. Uh, tiger and lion, again, same thing, and wolves are probably slightly further and elephants slightly further as well. Apart from that, they also show evolutionary timeline. But this is sort of like the origin of time, shall we say. And then as we go up the phylogenetic tree, we're going nearer to the current time. I couldn't fit them in, but imagine the mammoths can be branched off here, which means that they existed in the past and they're closer in the uh, to the start of time, but not, they are not up there because they are now extinct. So here you can see they are related. The elephants are kind of descendants of the mammoths in that sense. The fact is they are all mammals, but some of the mammals are more closely related uh, to each other than to the rest of them. So this is what's so good about using a phylogenetic tree. I also say one good thing about uh, phylogeny or phylogenetic trees is that it is continuous, so it's continually growing and we can add branches there if we've got more information. And rather than having them to put them into the Linnean uh, classification, uh, where some of them might not fit the same group entirely, here we can actually show they are somewhat related but not entirely. But there you have it. So we talked about, uh, this is the phylogeny and the phylogenetic trees and why is it good and then we also talked about the linear classification how to remember it the binomial nomenclature how to write it and also the reasons for them please make sure that you know why we need to do them because they are often two mark questions in an exam and they are easy marks make sure you don't lose them